Hey, how you doing? How you doing? It's your girl Lauren. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I really did a sit down video and it seems like these Bahama vlogs last for like a month. Anyway, your girl got new hair, new hair, new hair. So let's do a freaking update. So I have sister locks now and this is by far the greatest idea <laughs> and hairstyle that I have gotten since I started my lock journey so i've had them in probably two two months i got them right when we got back from the bahamas and that was like the beginning of august or the second week of august and it's about to be november in like 10 days so for one if you all saw my bahama vlogs and you saw that i did locks on top of my locks that was not a smart idea, especially with the extensions and my hair had already locked. It just, it was heavy. It was extremely heavy. Then I added dye on top of it. It, it was cute for the trip. I'm not going to hold you. It was cute. It was really, really cute. Then I took them out and my locks just were itty bitty small. Like they were extremely, extremely small. So that wasn't the first time I messed up my hair. It goes all the way back to senior year when i dyed my locks for my 22nd birthday that was in january so i as you know if you saw like my last lock video you saw i got lock extensions those were the best set of lock extensions i've had that was my second set of lock extensions that i had the first set i got from a girl in dc they did not last they they were not human hair whatsoever they felt synthetic and it was the summer so i technically someone blame myself the person that installed it no she didn't do it right and then secondly the lock extensions with me going to the beach to florida the chlorine the salt water it just ate right through the extensions so after that got a new set when i got to school that was december no that was before december november 2020 i want to say got those off etsy and i got 50 locks because i have an undercut so i really don't need that many locks best set of locks ever the black the tips looked natural destiny did a job putting those in fast forward to my birthday i'm like i want some color i want to do something different and we were all it was me her and my mom we were all on the fence about dyeing my hair but then we we're like let's do it mom said don't dye it and what i did dyed my hair so did it and it was good it was honestly straight for a good minute but at the time my hair hadn't my hair had been through traumatic experiences from the first set of locks eating all that through to the second set of locks and i did it so quickly because i only had them in like two three months before i dyed it so my hair hadn't fully got accustomed to the new set of extensions it looked natural everything after that we did graduation all that good jazz oh shoot i took the lock extensions out i think for graduation yes that's right I took my lock extensions out because my hair was like so uneven so I took them out I left my actual locks in which were cute honestly I love the short face I'm not gonna hold you those were really cute but I was self-conscious so then I wore a wig for graduation wore that somewhat midsummer. then after probably like two three weeks after graduation I put the lock extensions back in and they were good they were straight went to LA I dyed them back black my natural hair color and then went to LA. They look fine. I kept a majority in a ponytail because I only retwisted them probably once, like two, three weeks before the trip, and I did not feel like retwisting. So after that, came home, and then for my job, I had to. Dang, did I color my hair? Okay. So then I colored my hair again to. Uh, it was supposed to be because the blue dye was still in my hair. And then I went to the girl that put my original set in and she added another color and my hair turned out purple, like a dark, dark purple. And for the job I was doing, I couldn't have like a odd hair color. So then went back and I ended up bleaching my hair again. If you all saw that video, you know exactly what happened in that video. Bleached it again. 
not knowing what I was doing and my hair turned out pink. Don't know how. Still don't know how. So it turned pink. And that was the point I was like, you know what, I just need to stop. So washed that out, threw black on top of it again. And then that was it. So then for school, since I came back for my second degree, I was like, I'm gonna do the locks over my locks, which were the blonde locks that you saw in the Bahamas vlogs. So I did that. First time ever doing it, it was cute. It lasted. I'm proud of myself. I don't do hair. Did that. And then after two, three weeks after that, I took them out because I was like, yo, my head itch. I'm tired. So then one night it was me, Davina, Nisha, Destiny. That's when Nisha came. Oh, shoot. No, that was like right after we got back. So that was like Wednesday because Nisha was here. Took them out. And the beach water, the bleach, all of that factored into my locks being ate the fuck up. So I was like, shit, I want to make them survive. They were like, you can't make them survive. I was like, fuck. So we ended up combing them out and I put the wig on that I had for graduation back on my head and wore that until after the family reunion when Destiny could like do my hair. So got back from the family reunion. Destiny, well, the night I got back, I combed out all my locks. When I tell you that was a task, it wasn't as bad as I thought though, because majority of them were already loose, honestly. So then Destiny starts showing me pictures of sister locks that she did in the past, and I'm like, that's cute, but I'm like, is it gonna look right on me? Boy, look at me now, and I absolutely love it. If you're like me and you're a person that don't like doing their hair or dealing with natural hair, any of that sort, lock your hair it's not for everybody i'm not gonna hold you but this the sister locks is perfect for me like she did my parts and everything so perfect like it's been like two months since i had it in and my hair low-key grows fast so that's why it's like like this so definitely lock your hair the only thing with these is it took we started seven o'clock that morning we didn't end till two three i want to say three o'clock the next morning and we did it all what well, she did it all day long i just sat in a chair but when i tell you this was the best decision i've ever did with regarding of my hair like you can see the blonde you can see the black like this it's it's low-key dry it's low-key dry but like when I tell you this was the best thing and it it's not it's short but I like it I'm not ready for the long phase and it's light it's airy it flows and it just fits honestly for the old extensions hated the first set loved the second set but I dyed it so that was definitely on me and for me to get this and absolutely love like this is my third time trying locks and honestly this is my last knock on wood last time doing locks because if i can't get these there there's no point in me having hair at this point and i still have my undercut so i don't have that many locks i'm gonna say between three and four hundred and that number seems like a lot but honestly it's not because like it's so light and airy like and she did my parts great like if you can see and like the first week i want to say i didn't pull it up well first two weeks i just like i enjoyed it down and it's actually starting to lock like you can see how especially on this one like you can definitely see how it is locking. Like it's not taking long. Like even the bud at the end. I just have to accept the fact that it's locks and it's not always gonna be curly hair, which is shocking. And honestly, this is the best hairstyle because my grandmother loves it. My grandma is always on me about my hair. 
especially when I do long blonde hair she is always on me about it so she really really loves this and if I change it she is upset so I'm like what you do to your hair I'm like grandma I, I just pulled it up that's all that's all and my mom loves it and now she wants to lock her hair it's the fact my mom is not gonna sit in the chair that long from 10 to 2 she's not gonna make it she is not gonna make it so overall if you're going to do locks do your research I do not recommend you get extensions and if you want them go for it fully up to you that's your money you grown you bad but be aware of where you get your extensions and make sure they're a hundred percent human hair I had no issue the first set awful eight no no but the second set I got from Etsy I'm gonna try to find a link and link it down below definitely use that type of hair but those socks were a size medium now i got like sister so like it really depends on your size if you're doing sister or micro there's no point in you getting extensions they can't add hair to it but don't get extensions that's there's really no point just get her to add hair to your natural hair if you're going to do sister or micro if you're doing medium or medium and up you can do lock extensions if you want if you don't want to go through the short face which honestly i don't mind it's it's at my shoulders well a little longer but it's really at my shoulders i love the short face it's light it's airy but now it's winter time so you need something on your head slap a wig on i have learned to not do protective styles on your locks especially if they're first maturing stuff like that i'm not doing no style over this this is me i'm i'm not doing nothing not touching it oil it wash it. i haven't even washed it i have added water to it in the shower like just drenching in water i haven't done any conditioner any shampoo none of that yet i'm gonna wait till i get it retightened tomorrow i think but other than that really just make sure that's what you want to do because it is permanent and it's an ass to uncomb your locks i'm not gonna hold you like i'm gonna insert a picture that shit took forever but i had the whole day and i have nothing better to do with my life i'm a loner but yeah if you're going to do locks sister micro start with your natural hair just add hair to the end call today if you do medium large like actual lock extensions make sure they're 100 percent human hair wash them before you put them in because if it if you get bumps on your scalp stuff like that it makes you dry just wash your locks before you put them in make sure you have a clean scalp when you put them in and what i've learned with sister and micro what i have well i have sister but with smaller locks you can oil your scalp more more often and then you can spray this with water call today now with larger size locks and if you're doing extensions your hair is not going to lock because that's what's going on with niches right now your hair is not going to lock if you constantly oil it bleach it it doesn't work so don't bleach your hair because when you bleach your hair you have to keep it oiled don't bleach your hair when you put in your lock extensions because you can't oil it really I don't use was it rose water I don't use any of that I use regular water and oil so if y'all want to know all the products I use for my locks just let me know and I can make like a whole like mini segment for that but other than that I got sister locks so I think I'm gonna do more hair videos because it's quick simple chill and I know a lot of, I did a lot of research when doing the sister locks because i don't really know anybody with sister locks especially on campus i think i'm the only damn oh speaker i really think i'm the only one on campus with sister locks like small locks i think everyone else has medium large stuff like that like i'm the only one on camp with sister locks ah i feel different mm -hmm. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you, if I didn't answer any questions, please let me know. Because I really want to like help everybody I can. Because trust me, I've been through it with hair, especially locks. I ain't an expert. 
I ain't saying that. But I can answer a few questions off my dome. I can I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys next time.